question now is, are we in a situation, thanks to all sorts of problems that have come up, some of which are network saturation and abuse related, some of which have to do with the anonymity and other features built into the original internet uh, that have led to its abuse, where people will no longer suborn it that are in power and they will find to need it changed. What are the things that are missing that we can expect to see added on later? Some form of quality of service, letting some packets travel more quickly than others. Get out of the way, email. I'm video, and I'd better get there soon, or I'll start looking herky-jerky as packets are dropped out. Ways of ranking things that seem kind of innocuous, right? Why shouldn't you have such a scheme? But then before you know it, of course, some schmuck will decide that all of his packets are incredibly important. Get out of the way, video. I'm Donald Trump's email, and I deserve to be there. Suddenly, a rather egalitarian framework of we all suffer the same random glitches in internet service can turn out to be, now nah, let's let the public schools suffer, and let's have Donald Trump get really fast service. County and traffic management, these are the sorts of things in whose absence you see the likes of Sprint and AT&T exchanging data at these major exchange uh, points on a handshake. I'll take your data if you take mine because it's just too much of a pain to measure who's doing what and where it's going and who ought to be profiting from it. The more you can do a county and traffic management, of course, the more you can start to take what is something where there had not been a market and therefore simply a rough exchange and start making a market out of it. Is it good or bad? Well, it might be good because it helps allocate supply to demand properly. It might be not so good because suddenly you want to send a packet through that bucket brigade as if I want to send this thing to the back of the room again. And with accounting and traffic management, we can have one person say, well, I'll pass it for a penny. And the person behind him says, yeah, I'll pass it for a dime. And now I owe 11 cents just to get it two rows back. These are the sorts of things that maybe look pretty bad relative to a system in which it never occurred to anybody to charge, or there was no easy means of doing settlements, or it might be pretty good. Might people be more inclined to share their wireless if there were some way to simply advertise their wireless access point by saying, yeah, you can hook in if you want, and it'll cost you, oh, I don't know, a dollar for an hour. And then if people come by and they start paying you dollars, wow, other people will start setting up access points. And before you know it, the creation of the market has led to a creation of supply to meet demand. These are deep questions, only glancingly uh, asked and answered in early 2004, again, for which there are likely to be uh, some answers within a few years. Encryption and security we haven't talked too much about, but these are, again, things that aren't typically implemented at the network level right now in IPv4. There's some thought they might be around in IPv6. In the meantime, it's up to the endpoints to worry about encrypting things. There are ways to do it, but uh, most uh, people still haven't really enabled such things. And authentication, which is to say being able to utter with certainty, I am who I say I am, and you can really believe that, and you can mean it. And these are the sorts of things that would now allow, for example, a possible elimination of the spam problem, uh, because all of a sudden, uh, if there were a way to easily authenticate who you were, people receiving email could say, if email comes in and they haven't bothered to authenticate themselves, trash it. I only want to get email from people who are willing to say who they are. And then, if somebody who's willing to say who he or she is sends you spam, that's it. I never want to hear from them again, and they have to go find someone else to send their spam. It's a way of not just creating one fake identity after another in order to get the spam through. These are the sorts of things, again, that are under uh, construction.